Hey welcome guys, in this video I am going to show you how to download and install Bluestack 5 emulator to run any Android apps and games from your Google Play Store, even if you have a low-end PC. And you can see, if you are searching for the best emulator, you will also end up with the same result. Without any doubt, Bluestack is considered as one of the most popular emulator on internet today. Even if you are searching for an emulator which works fine on only 2GB RAM, Bullistex is a good choice. So be with me till the end. Well, to download this emulator, just search Bullistex on your search bar and you will find the official website bullistex.com in your first result. Do not download from any other links which may contain viruses and malwares. So go to their official site and it's absolutely free. I will also give you the link in the video description. As you can see, currently the latest version of Bullistack is 5. You can also download the earlier versions for any reason. If you scroll down a bit, then you will find more information of this emulator, like the most played games on this emulator. Maybe you will also find your favorite one. Anyways, let's download the latest version. Now click to install it. Make sure you have enough empty space in the installation drive. You can also customize the data path from this folder option. If you are satisfied with the installation location, then click on install. Now your PC will do the rest. So I am resuming this installation process for not wasting your time. Well guys, we are done and this is the basic interface of Bullistex app. Now you can log in your Google Play Store like your Android phone and you can install any games or apps. Let me introduce you some of these basic features of this emulator. You can maximize and restore the screen from here like any other apps. And this is the menu icon for settings. You can also navigate this settings option by clicking on this gear icon from the sidebar. Now we are in performance tab in settings. From here you can customize your CPU, RAM, performance mode, frame rate, etc. And you can allocate your resources for the better performance of this emulator, which can be different as per your system configuration. As a beginner, you can keep the recommended options. But you can always change these settings to see what works for you better. Now click on display menu. It has also a good impact on your emulator performance. You should choose resolution and other option wisely here as per your PC configuration. Otherwise, you will not get your expected performance. Next option is graphics, which is also important for you. Keep the performance engine mode here and open GPL in renderer option. If your PC is using any graphics card, then make sure this GPU feature is also enabled. Then this audio option. It doesn't have any impact on your performance. Just keep it as default. Next game patch. Also keep it as default. Preferences. You can change your emulator language from here. Otherwise, keep it as default. Device settings. You can set any default device for your emulator from here. Now shortcuts. Well, this is an important feature. You can customize these shortcuts for your better user experience. And you can always restore it to default. Well, do not mess with this advanced option. So keep it as default. And you can check your emulator updates from this about section. I hope you have already got a good grasp of Bluestack settings, which is really important for you. And you can see this is the right sidebar menu. The first one is full screen. Then it's the sound icon. You can increase or decrease your emulator sound from here. Well, when you hold your cursor of any of this option, you will see their function and the shortcut keys for them. Now have a look on your main screen. You can see Bullistex has its own game center. You can play from here. And also you can download any game from Play Store. 
just logging your Google Play account like you do in your Android phone and download your favorite games. So guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have any other question for Bullstack 5 settings or features, then let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and stay tuned.